Hello there guys! Welcome back to another one of my YouTube videos. In today's video, I am happy to be showing you the only working Pokemon Go hack and mod for both iOS and Android devices. It will allow you to get tons of new features in your Pokemon Go app by using the Pokemon Go spoofer, like the feed radar, nearby radar, anti-ban. Also guys, you will have the Pokemon Go joystick, the teleport option that will allow you to get any Pokemons from any given location in the world and you can do it from your chair or from your house. You won't be, a, you, you won't be obligated to move around or go out of your house to catch them. So let me show you how to do it. Okay, everyone, and let me show you how the Go Spoofy app actually looks. As you enter Go Spoofy, you will see tons of amazing features that I have previously told you about, like the Pokemon Go joystick, feed radar, nearby radar, first catch, anti-ban, all of that will be available on your Pokemon Go apps. And what you need to do to get them is just enable all these features. And then we have the teleport option right here for which we need to paste in the coordinates. Once we've pasted in the coordinates, we need to tap on the little import button. Once we are done with that, let's go ahead and go back to the actual Pokemon Go app where we can see the joystick and all of the other amazing features available on our phones. And as you can see right here, I have just teleported to the amazing Tokyo Tower where I can see tons of Pokemons around me and I can catch them whenever I want without having to move around anywhere. So guys, let me show you how to get to this result on your Pokemon Go app. Everyone, let's begin with the whole process. So guys, the first thing that I always start with is updating Pokemon Go to its latest version. So for your Go spoofy to work, go to your App Store or to your Google Play Store and check if Pokemon Go needs any updates. So this Pokemon Go spoofer will actually work on your phone. So once you've updated the app, we can continue and the next step will be the preparation process of our phones. To prepare your phone as an Android, Android user, what you need to do is switch off your battery saver mode and make sure you have it switched off until the rest of the process is completely over. To prepare your iOS device, what you need to do is go to your settings app, then go to general, background app refresh, then again background app refresh and then make sure it is switched on for both Wi-Fi and mobile data. Once you're done with that, let's go ahead and go to the next step. However, if you encounter a problem here, what I would need you to do is solve that problem by going back to your battery settings and switching off that low power mod option. Make sure your low power mod is switched off until the rest of the process is done. Then go back to the background app refresh one and set it as we said before. Now we want to head over to the next step which is opening our browsers. And you're allowed to use any browser that you want to. I'm going to use my Safari one that is right here and go to this website right here. Type in this address into your web browser to get to the website. And then once you do tap on this little download button right there, and then what you need to do is start the installation process by tapping on install, then start injection, then choose the platform that you're using and tap on continue. Then it will start injecting the app into your phone guys and adding in whatever it's needed for you to have the fully working go spoofy on your phones. Now guys, I can't be happy enough to be showing you how to get this result. And that's it. Once you're done, enjoy your go spoofy on your iOS or Android devices. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you're subscribed to my YouTube channel. Make sure you give this video a big thumbs up down below and tell me how much more enjoyable it is to play Pokemon Go now that you are not limited to anything. Thank you so much and see you next time. Cheers!